Hello, my name is Gabriel Miller, and in this video, uh, you are going to learn on how to create tutorials or to create educational videos. So, in order to create educational videos, you use the way I create educational videos. I use PowerPoint, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 and uh, i use a video editing software called video pad video editor and it is very good the reason why i use powerpoint 2016 is because powerpoint you can save you can use powerpoint to save a file as an mp4 so i can even show you how that is possible let's say i wanted to save this file so if I wanted to save this file, I can click on save as type PowerPoint presentation. You can see there's I can even save as a PDF, I can save as MP4, a graphic interchange format, PNG, a JPEG format, and so many are even the T format. So in this video now I'm gonna explain how I use 2016 powerpoint to create my tutorials i follow a certain process to create my tutorials i use the first you need to create the presentation then after creating the presentation you record a voice over so after recording a voice over you use rehearse timings the rehearse timing can be found in powerpoint then after doing that then i'll save my presentation as an mp4 then after doing that then i'll edit the video and the audio the audio is a voiceover which i've recorded then the video is what i've saved as a mp4 then i'll edit it with a video editor so the first step is creating a presentation so let me show you how to quickly create a simple presentation i usually like using a a black background to portray the information properly so when you are doing your tutorials you can use any background so i am pressing home now on the tab the menu tab and layouts i don't want i want a blank layout and uh, so we can make this layout black you go to design on the menu tab and uh, i can just do it, make only this slide black i can come here on right and you can left right click on it yes you right click on it then you see apply to only this selected slide so even if i create another slide it might still have the same proper uh, background and you can still come to this one and change it you can click here no i don't want all of them to have the same background so you right click apply to select a slide so only this one only this slide will be white you can apply this this selected slide so you can apply this to select a slide only this so yes black yes this so first then you, you you might know you need to also know how to put animations on the uh on your slide so you can insert click go to menu insert and click this box and you can just write anything maybe you can see one plus one 
plus 2 is equal and you don't put any list in there just say 1 plus 2 is equal and you increase it maybe let's make it 54 the size font size and um, let's make it bigger uh, that you will see it clearly okay 1 plus 2 is equal then you can copy this and another thing I like about PowerPoint is you can see that PowerPoint is kind of trying to align it for you there's a kind of red uh, line for you so that you can align it properly straight so you can see 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 so we want this to when you are saying in your when you have recorded because you're going to record after you have created the presentation so you first create all the things that you want to see you can try and write it down in a book maybe you write it or you write all the basic points uh, or, or you can even write most the majority of the things you're going to see not everything you write the keywords write it down in the book and you can see the point to see all the explanations while the video right you have edited it and you make all this you can make maybe when you are saying one plus two is equal to you can make one only one plus two to show use your animations you go to animations you click appear and one plus two will appear then you go to one plus you go to three make three appear now let's try and play the slide from the current slide nothing is going to show but when i press enter one plus two will show first one plus two is equal so in, in this is not that difficult to create uh it's uh it's not that difficult to create an animation with powerpoint so i remove i'm removing that so okay let's try something that mm, you might not really see on powerpoint for instance if i want to write a kind of quadratic equation mm, you can't write s square with this so you have to go to word i usually do this most of the time if i have to create any i have to type in something that has a subscript or superscript i usually use for uh, microsoft word to write something like that so i can write the if i want to write an equation i can write the equation no 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 i can write the equation x maybe a plus one or something yeah okay let's see i copy this is how how i write then you copy it you press ctrl c then you go to powerpoint back and press ctrl v then you can copy you can even increase the size i've highlighted it and now i'm increasing the font size to maybe 60 so that you see it properly you can even change this to x so a small letter okay what if you want to add a symbol a mathematical symbol like divide and uh, division sign and the multiplication sign and the other sign so you probably need to use the symbol uh, option you go to your insert tab then you click the symbols there then you click symbol then you should add the symbol you want to add maybe plus minus divide multiplication sign percentage sign or, or whatever so that's how you can add symbols In lesson two i'm going to talk about how you can use a video editor 
I use video pad software to allow the video to merge my voice so that anything I'm saying will be displayed. Not that I will be saying something, another thing will be displayed. So, what is the next step? <laughs> Record a voice over. So the basic step you need to know how to record the voice over. You can use your phone to record the voice over. You record your phone, use your phone to record it. Then when you use your phone, you transfer the file to your system. You want to also make sure that the format that you are recording as can be accepted by your video editing software. This format that I usually use is um, the format that I use when I is usually in this format ADTS audio. That you can use a WAV file. Your the software video editing software can accept that as well. Even an MP3 too. And you can also use your computer to record. So once you have recorded it, then maybe, uh, for instance, now I'm going to try and record my voice now. I'll record my voice. So I've recorded. I've recorded uh, my voiceover. It's very short. I just said my name. Uh, this is it. Testing. Yeah, this if it is in a WMA format, it can also be accepted by the software used to edit videos. Okay, so you can use this. So let me play it. Okay, so I've done that. So another thing you want to do is that because i usually prefer using my phone first that's so that when i'm playing it on my phone then i can use the next process that i'm going to be talking about okay so the next process is um using use rehearse timing so after you have recorded it let's say i added an animation here uh i added an animation up here I have added an animation of a PA. You can add other animations using PowerPoint. You can, if you want to add others, you can click on this. Uh, just click on it. This add animation, then you go to more entrance effect, more emphasis. But I use more entrance most of the time. So, okay. So, there's something I want to do. I want to add an equal to here. I'll copy this and adjust it here. So I just want to see this is the same thing as saying X. The same thing as saying X plus, uh, I think one and X plus one. So you can see that as I copied it, it has already automatically given me the animation. The same animation I gave this part is what it's going to be. Because I also copied the animation with the whole text. So let me let me show you. So if you want to check out the animations or, or maybe you want to remove an animation, go to animation pane right up here. Then you can remove the animation let's I want to remove the animation of this one and show you how I so you put click on our PA and see the same thing okay so let's let me play from current slide um, if I press enter it will show s square plus 2s plus 1 is equal then you press enter again it will now show that the next step is I said rehearse timings. So you can get rehearse timing by clicking on slideshow in the menu in the menu bar. Slideshow, yeah, this is it's rehearse timings. So whenever you are using your rehearse timings, 
you must make sure you are you are playing the audio that you recorded so when you play the audio you listen to what you have recorded then you make sure you are pressing the enter at the right time and that to flow with this and this when you play the audio when you play the audio then you use your rehearse timing you click on your rehearse timing and to start timing the whole process so you can press enter anytime you say something like s square plus 2s you press enter when you are, you are listening to what you recorded then when you now say x plus one times x plus one and what you recorded you press it again okay then press enter then you save yes the total time for your slideshow was just 32 seconds you want to save a new slide yes so you can use that when you are saving as an mp4 it will also save your timings too so when you are saving as an mp4 the timings will still be there it will show it the same time you set on your real timing so that is just exactly what i just wanted to show you in this video okay now the next step is save presentation as an mp4 in the next video i'll be talking about edit the video and audio with the video editor that's the next video okay let me talk about this save presentation as an mp4 to save presentation as an mp4 is just that simple so click on your file on your menu tab you click on your file on your menu tab then you go to save as Mm, I usually save in my video my videos and you give it a good name I can just say maybe I just say quadratic quadratic okay then I change the save as type then you change it to mp4 then you save it and to start doing it so the longer your slides the longer time it takes to actually save the video this uh, saving will take your time so you can just wait for it to save so the video has saved i've saved the quadratic video as an mp4 I'll say the quadratic presentation as an mp4 okay so let's find the video we'll go to videos for now okay here here it is quadratic video is in an mp4 format it's an mp4 format mp4 right there okay let's i want to play the video so that you see what i'm talking about so the video is going to follow the timing the same timing so you can see there was a delay there's a delay this is the video playing the quadratic mp4 video so it shows the s square plus 2s plus 1 go then wait for it wait for it then it now shows s plus one times so you can see that it follows the timing so if you merge it with your voice it will totally blend with it and even if there's anything you need to remove in your voice in your voice it will be easy to remove it will just you need to use the video editing software so it won't be that difficult because your rehearse timing you are using the rehearse timing to follow up with your voice i believe that that's all for this tutorial i'm doing this because of the i don't want the length of the video is not supposed to exceed a certain limit so we're just going to talk about 
this we have talked about this for already creating a presentation record the voice over use real timings save the presentation as an mp4 so the next video i'll talk about edit the video and audio with the video editor thanks for watching